and it's Friday. It's Friday, so happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Um, so yeah, words of the week again. Words of the week again. Um, uh, oh, actually, I just realised the other one can we, um, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the way I've set this up is it was basically just the same as the other ones, where um, uh, we went through them one at a time. But actually, as it's Friday, maybe we should do do a spelling test. Do a spelling test so let's try that so let's try that so i'm going to read them out and you can uh, do them all from uh, memory if possible so let's see so if you can write me out bath then path fast last and passed. So there you go. So hopefully you've got all of those written out. Path, give yourself a tick if you got that. Path, give yourself a tick if you got that. That is fast. That is last. That is passed. So there you go. If any of the, you're still struggling with any of these um uh well commiserations on how you feel i was all rubbish at spelling at school um i would say keep a note of the, of, of any that uh, you know giving you problems maybe even um possibly at the back of your exercise book you can start a list and if there are any words that are that, that aren't good for you um keep a note of them at the back of the exercise book or somewhere else and just write them out uh sort of uh, five times a day um more and they will eventually sink in. It can be uh, very dispiriting um, spelling if you're rubbish at it. Uh, but unfortunately, the only way is just to keep cracking on with it. Um, yeah. Right. Anyway, we're still on the uh, the TCA exception. Now, um, as I was saying yesterday, I think uh, sometimes you know you come up with a nice sentence. You think, right, put that on the internet. Must be a good picture of that. Uh, yeah, the sentence that I came up with was, can you catch the witch on the path? And, and this is what it came up with, it's still from a, a YouTube video. Um, yes, uh, I, <laughs> I, I believe it's a sort of, uh, uh, initially I was quite worried by the picture, but I think it's, it's sort of a homemade kind of um, sort of attempt to do a sort of Blair Witch thing. Um, nothing untoward. It's uh, four, four friends making a silly movie. Nothing really bad happening here. So, can you catch the witch on the path? Uh, that is, uh, can you catch the witch on the path? Can you hear that? That's a question. That's a bit of a clue. So, can you catch the witch on the path? Pause. Uh, well, no, sorry. Almost got the count. So, can you catch the witch on the path? So, let's see with the actions this time. And I've given you the clue to the question. So, we won't be doing the, uh, um, the punch in the same way as normal. So much you have the video on. Uh, so it's a uh, can with your, your hand on your head for that. Can you catch the witch on the path? And then you make the shape of the question mark and then you punch the, uh, the, the bottom bit of the question mark out. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so can you catch the witch on the path? Question mark. So that's eight. So it's a bit really long one, but hey, it's Friday. Um, pause it and write me can you catch the witch on the path? Pause, pause. There you go. Can you catch the witch on the path? The path, <laughs> that. Can you? So that, that's, I think it's out of 10. So tick for the capital C and tick for can. Uh, tick for you, tick for catch, tick for the, tick for which, tick for on, tick for the, tick for path, and a tick for the question mark. We had an easy one to find a picture for. Uh, the egg hatched in the bath. The egg hatched in the bath. So let's count that out. The egg hatched in the bath. So count those words out on your fingers. And you've got six. You've got six. Let's do it again with the actions. Hand on head for the capital T. The egg hatched in the bath. Punch for the full stop. I think it's six. Much more straightforward one, I think. Um, there we go. There we go. Pause, yeah, pause, come back. Pause. There you go. The egg hatched in the bath, much more straightforward one. Uh, hopefully the ED wasn't a problem for you. Um, I've done that a lot, but uh, if it is, 
then I would just, I'd just again, b b write out as many ED words as you can, or write, 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 write out hatched again and again and again. Unfortunately, repetition is the only way. Right, okay, the egg hatch in the bath. Uh, okay, ah, yes, this is, uh, watch her snatch from the kitchen hatch. It was slightly hard to find a picture for, and she's not. She knew she might be about to snatch, you never know. She looks like she's capable of it. Um, watch her snatch from the kitchen hatch. So let's count that out. Watch on fingers. Watch her snatch from the kitchen hatch. Seven. So with the actions, hand on head for the capital W. Watch her snatch from the kitchen hatch. Punch for the full stop. Okay, write that out for me. Watch her snatch from the kitchen chin hatch. Pause, pause, pause. Here you go, watch her snatch from the kitchen hatch. Okay, uh, so yeah, tick for the capital W, tick for watch, tick for her, tick for snatch, tick from from, tick for the kitchen hatch. So I think it's a nine. Right, okay. Uh, yeah. I couldn't find a picture of this one at all, really. Um, I didn't draw this. Uh, again, just found on the internet. So the next sentence is, fetch the butcher from the ditch. I mean, I didn't expect really to find a picture of a butcher in a ditch, but um, there we go. Fetch the butcher from the ditch. Uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's count that. Fetch the butcher from the ditch. That's six, let's do it with the actions. Head on head with the capital F. Fetch the butcher from the ditch. Punch full stop six. Go for it. Write it, write it, write it. Fetch the butcher from the ditch. Pause if you need to. There you go. Fetch the butcher from the ditch. Yes, tick the capital F, tick for fetch, tick for the, tick for butcher, tick for from, tick from the, tick for ditch, dot, that's eight. Eight. There you go. We <laughs> just. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on in that picture. Um, anyway. Right, so the, onto one of these again. Um, again, pictures are hard to come by. Um, but have a read through that, have a read through that, and um, see if you can work out where those mistakes are. So pause that and have a look and find, see if you can spot the mistakes. Okay, right, let's uh, have a look at the art. There we go. So, yeah, so which hatch um, uh, Butcher watched um, which hatch uh, they're all and snatched, they're all missing, um, they're all missing the T, then uh, fast and past had the extra R in. Um, yeah, so hopefully that was relatively straightforward for you. So there we go. That's uh, uh, phonics for another week. Um, hopefully I might be able to get the, the video back for, for the next week. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, there you go. And it's that it's the goodbye slide. So I hope everybody uh, is keeping safe and well. And you've know, you know, got a good weekend ahead of you, given the circumstances. Uh, take care. And we'll see you when we see you. Goodbye.